Hi, my name is Ryan Giriguis. I am a Med 3 at AUA, so I just finished my first year of basic sciences on the island, and uh, in the fall I'll be starting my third semester. The island has a lot to offer, and anything you can get usually in the U.S. typically you can get also in Antigua. You still have the same grocery store experience. There's taxis available at almost any time. So the people are really nice and actually very friendly. The layout of the campus is uh, pretty nice. It's composed of laboratories, homerooms, classrooms, and within a close proximity, there's actually a food court. When I first arrived at AUA, they just implemented a new curriculum called Curriculum Next, and I was in its first class. Curriculum Next is a unique experience because um, unlike your typical university, you're not in a huge lecture hall format. Your time is divided between small group activities, well, they call active learning activities. So this typically involves you uh, learning a subject the previous day and then instantly applying it the next. So it kind of gives you an idea of where your gaps in knowledge are or where you're actually really strong. It's a lot of self-driven learning, so you yourself are in control of what you learn, what you focus on. Instead of just passively kind of trying to absorb everything during lecture, you can actually sit down and say, I don't understand this too well, I'm going to go back over it a couple more times and actually see what I really don't understand or if I can actually ask someone in my group to explain it to me, that actually helps. Teaching is a critical component of the act of learning because it allows you to actually help your fellow students while also understanding what you know and what you don't know. And that also helps the whole learning environment because you can actually see where your fellow classmates are. Overall, I think it's a really good experience because when you go to clinicals and when you get to your residency, you're not going to rely on peer lectures anymore. You're going to be responsible for your own teaching and you're going to have to learn things from the book and just by doing research on your own and this sets you up for that. We take uh, exams that are old retired step one questions that the NVME no longer uses for the step one. So on our last exam we performed just as well as US medical students achieving a score I think of roughly around 75 percent. It's cool to actually see that we are performing just as well as US medical students on the curriculum we uh, learned. What I would tell a pre-med uh, who's looking to apply to medical school, especially in the Caribbean, is consider all your options. Consider how you learn and what's best for you. And try to talk to as many students as possible who actually go to the school to actually see uh, what their experiences are like.